Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, today is Saturday, January, I believe, the 20th, 2018. Um, this video is in honor of my grandmother who recently just died, Elizabeth McClendon. Um, you know, yesterday was a sad day for me. But this video is an honor to her because what I teach here, for those of you who don't know, my name is William Bootsy Blandon. And uh, on my business channel, Chennai Business, I teach people how to basically start their own business and fund their own business with business credit and financing. And um, from that, during this sad time, I realized that when she died, well, when I found out she died, I woke up, I heard my mom screaming, crying. It was about seven o'clock in the morning. And um, the reason why that time's important is I know that normally seven o'clock a.m., I normally would have been on my commute to work or no, I'd be already showing up and usually be at work by between anywhere between seven and nine o'clock. And um, I'm thanking God that I started my own business and I have business credit and I got a little money in the bank and I didn't have to punch in and then get in my car and drive all the way back home because I just found out my grandmother just died. You know, very important to understand what I mean by you really have to start your own business, even if you like your job. So even if you like your job, you need to have a side business because your job might not like you. You know, you could be the most A1 employee. I've seen A1, not only employees, but managers get laid off in 2017 managers and they were doing a damn good job so going forward you know I could not put up with the stress every day like I just took the whole day to myself and just was thinking you know and I'm not gonna lie smoking yeah I smoked marijuana so I was smoking and um, just reflect. And granted, you know, had I been still on that retail job that I left for 10 years, they would have gave me the day off and said, go do your thing. But because my grandmother is my grandmother and not biologically my mother, keep in mind, for those of you who don't know, my grandmother raised me. So technically she's my mother. Even though I know my biological mother my real mother's in my life. She didn't raise me. She was on drugs at the time. And for whatever reason, could not raise me. She gave me to her mother. My grandmother raised me. You know, and your job does not reflect that. Because biologically, she's my grandmother. Yeah, maybe there was some things I could have done. Maybe I could have lied and said she's my mom. But it shouldn't have came to that. I think that job would have maybe gave me three days off paid. So now during a crisis time, I got to worry about money. On top of all this other shit, I got to worry about losing money. When I already made less than 30 grand a year after taxes. This is why you got to do this. This is why you have to start your own fucking business. Sorry to swear, but... I, I I don't understand you guys. Everybody got to start their own side business. Everyone. I don't give a fuck how much you love your job. Your job may not love you. And yeah, for some of you, that's just going to be sitting home on a computer. There's a lot of ways you can start a business and make money from home. Yes, you can. It's possible because I started both of my companies from home. But we teach you how to do that and set it up where you have a physical business address. I have shared office space I use for my physical business address. And we teach you about how to do that. But technically, I'm home most of the time. 
I'm either on the road going to talk to a customer or I'm at home. There's going to come to a point where, yes, we're going to have a storefront and a local location and whoever's my following, you're going to get updates on where that location is in Connecticut. But for right, I, it's possible to start a very successful home business. You know what I mean? And not be all online. I'm not all online. I do half my business online and the other half I'm out in the streets like I am today. And you're probably wondering, well, why are you working today? Your grandma just died yesterday. This don't feel like work to me. This just feels like a hobby, but yet this video could even help make me money. You know, because eventually somebody's going to see this video and understand how serious I am about you guys starting a side business for security. And then if you want to learn about how to put business credit into cryptocurrency and real estate, you want to check out Real Wealth TV. That's my other channel. That's where we're going to focus on cryptocurrency, real estate, online businesses, local brick and mortar businesses. We're going to go into that on that channel. On Chennai Business, we're going to show you how to set up your business, get business credit. And then on my personal channel, I'm going to talk about stuff, you know, everyday stuff that I do. You know, everyday fuckery. I go out and smoke have a good time, maybe go clubbing, you know what I mean, showing you some of my friends that I be around, or used to be around, that's on my personal channel, William Bootsy Blandon, that's my name, William Bootsy Blandon, Bootsy is spelled B-O-O-T-S-Y, I spell it just like uh, that old famous singer, Bootsy Collins. Um, yeah, so my grandmother's gone just yesterday. I did all my crying yesterday. I got it all out, so I'm not going to do it on video, but she was basically my mom, and it was very emotional for me, you know. I was her favorite, just being the oldest, you know, not, not taking anything away from my brothers, but just because I have been around her longer, I was probably her favorite. You know, towards the end, it didn't matter because she barely remembered any of us. But um, she meant a lot to me, Elizabeth McClendon. Um, she was born in Camden, South Carolina. Uh, a lot of people know her from Norwalk, Connecticut. All the kids I grew up with, you knew her from Norwalk, Connecticut. You all call her grandma. I didn't call her Guam, is which I called her. I called her Guam because when I was little, I couldn't say grandma. So it just came out Guam. So I was calling her Guam all my life. But um, it was a sad day to see her go. Um, but she was in a lot of pain. And I was glad to see that pain stop. But I know that come Monday morning, there ain't no way in hell. I'm gonna worry about going to a job or even after the three days they're paying me. I may not wanna go back for a week or two weeks. And when you tend to own your own business, you will go to work, you will, because that's all you know how to do and you know you gotta bring in some money. But you won't wanna to go to work and it's some place you don't wanna be. You know what I mean? You're gonna be miserable, it's a place you don't wanna be. You're gonna be barking at motherfuckers that you don't like at work. Nine out of 10, that's your supervisor or manager. So you're gonna cuss them niggas out, you know. It is what it is. I'm glad I own my, own my own business. I can teach you guys how to do it with very little effort. It won't break your pockets, I mean, of course, if you want, 
you can set up your own business. I can show you how to set up your own company, your own LLC. But if you did everything yourself, it's probably gonna end up in the long run costing you more money than if you just came to me and let me help you do it. You know, it just speeds up the process. You're gonna spend probably less upfront. You're gonna spend more upfront doing it this way, but less in the long run because you'll have processes and things set up to make the future easier. Sorry if this video jumpy. I'm on the uh, them back roads going to New Milford from Waterbury. So the roads are kind of bumpy. Got a couple hills. But um, yeah, you guys got to learn how to do this stuff. I mean, I'm here to help you. I'm here to show you. Even after my grandmother's death, I'm thinking about helping people get business credit and finances. Because I'm going to get rich. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm saying it right here on video right now. I can guarantee you I will eventually get rich. I'm telling you, because I have a foolproof plan on how to do it. I can almost guarantee it. I'm not rich now. I'm not trying to say I am. But I have a foolproof plan to get there by way of using good personal credit, a business, and business credit, cryptocurrency, and real estate. And I can show you how all the follow. And if you just listen to what I'm telling you, you'll understand that the plan will work because you'll slowly see improvements in your income. Just having better credit improves your income because you're qualified for stuff that'll be at a lower interest rate, like your insurance. You know what I mean? So just having better credit helps your financial situation. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all, I know you. a lot of y'all I used to work with looking like that. I didn't even know this nigga was that intelligent because I was in receiving and you don't really need brains to do that. It's just physical, you're just using your hands. But I up my financial education through books and YouTube. So yes, my mentality is higher. I am more intelligent. So for those of you who are surprised by this, 